Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to Naruto Rashi with me and all makes one my own today, and it's been a while. Man, it's been- I was on this server a lot, like, as you saw, I had like a lot of videos of this going out like the afterday. And then it just kind of stopped because we started doing Fairy Tale Origins. I spent like the last three-ish days on Fairy Tale Origins and not really been on Naruto much. That's mostly just down to kind of- uh, it's more just a coincidence because I did the first episode not knowing like when I was going to upload, like how often I was going to upload, but then Pat the next day said, oh, do you want to record? And I'm like, oh yeah, sure, because it's, you know, opportunity to record with Pat. And then um, the following day, being yesterday, um, or the episode of it goes out today when I'm recording this, because obviously I do everything in advance because of my internet being crap. Anyway, yeah, then Richie asked um, Pat and me, or Pat and I got dragged along, or got, came along, um, if we want to record, so we recorded another episode. And with that, I then had three episodes, and I had none of this. And it was basically a case of I either upload more Fairy Tale Origins, or you just have no videos for those days. So here we are, because of things I could get the episode that recorded done. But anyway, um, my time away from the server never went unnoticed. Oh no. Um, yeah, some stuff might have happened. Um, I'll show you all in a minute. First, we're going to do question of the day. We're going to have a happy time. Then I'll, I'll bring I'll bring you all up to speed on what's going on out there. So last time I asked a question, or the time before, I forget what it was. But I asked the question, which Naruto character would you like to see cross over to another anime world? Um, so some of the answers I picked out were Shikamaru and Attack on Titan, just for the brains. I think that's also, he's spelled Shikamaru, but that's fine. And that was by Derek Tucker. And the other one I picked out was Naruto and Fairytale um, World, because he'd be a beast in the Grand Magic Games, which is true. Um, that was by Naruto Fan Dust. So yeah, Shikamaru and Attack on Titan. Definitely could be interesting since his abilities are completely unknown. The chakra ability, like running on walls and stuff, substitution. Completely unknown in Attack on Titan. He'd probably be viewed as some kind of monster or something in the beginning. If they then turn sides with him, he's got the brain to match kind of the head commanders of Attack on Titan. So yeah, that'd be interesting. And F Naruto and Fairy Tale read fanfictions with that stuff all the time. The Sage of Fairy Tale, more or less. So he he just basically become a sage, and he become a mo he's technically a monster as well because the Kyobi, But you know, it's, the Kyobi's not that much of a monster when you get to know him. So I'm sure Fairy Tale would see past that little issue. But anyway, as for me, let's see. I always thought um, mostly due to fan fictions I read. Let's see. So Sakura going to attack on Titan just because of her absurd strength and healing ability. So like she could literally just punch a Titan, and take it down with it by herself quite easily. So that'd be interesting. Um, Naruto the Fairy Tale is one I would pick as well, just because Naruto and Fairy Tale was, was not to love. And also Naruto into Ruby, just because I've read a lot of fan fiction about that. Naruto would basically go in there and be the strongest thing in existence, because I don't think anything could keep up with that. Plus, to him, it would look, to everyone else, it looked like he just has, like, multiple semblances. So it'd be pretty cool. But anyway, um, now, for what's going on out here. Oh yeah, new question today, just before we... Before we get distracted by everything else, um, let's go with in a battle between Naruto and the One Punch Man world. Um, what's a battle you'd like to see? Let's see the answers for that in the comment section down below, and we'll hopefully have signs up for it next time. I actually came on today not knowing if the the sign board was even going to be here because of what's what's happened. Um, so outside's changed a little. I've turned my map off so you can't see beforehand. Yeah, my beautiful Sakura trees are gone, replaced by this crap. Um. So let's just get a little bit of height. I am not sure what to make of all this. Obviously, I see like some kind of boss thing there. I don't know what the hell Zaro's done to this place. So look at this. It's like the whole school's changed. I don't know if this is part of his plan or what. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know how he nerfed he done it. Obviously, World did it played a big part here. But I have no idea what nerf he did. Like, to get it to go this way. It looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I have no idea how, like, the relevance of everything, like, towards the, um... Also, I can't zoom in right now. My, my zoom in button must be off. I have no idea what the relevance is to the Akatsuki, but whatever. We'll see if... Zoro claims that after, like, he, he warned me before. He said, don't freak out or anything. Everything I've done, I can replace. At that point, I didn't ask any more questions or anything. I just went, okay, I'm probably going to hate you for this. So, you know, that's a thing. Ow. You son of a bitch. Oh, fuck God. Get lost. Just... No. Just... No. Oh god, no, wait. He's... There's an allergic person behind me. Who is that? Why can't I leap? Guardian, also, I, my game is lagging a tad because I'm starting to leap forwards when I'm not wanting to. But yeah, okay, so everything is went all weird up there. So that's a lot of things. So that's something we're going to have to deal with today. Before that, I did go gallow the mutton. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna ignore what's happening up there and turn just just to think about the mutton. 
Um, is this been blocked off? No, it's not. Okay, you're you should be working then. Yeah, I do have strength too. I, I must have just been outside this range. I was fighting a cat's going, but there, all the resistance is really freaking high. And that's why my strength too wasn't kicking in. Anyway, uh, where did I hide all the mutton? There it is. Wait, I went and took the advice of some people in the comments. Thank you for that. I went to the twilight. You can bugger off. No. No. Get lost a lot ease. That's right out of here. Um, I have no idea where they spawned from. But anyway, res with resistance and strength too. Like fighting on my home turf with my beacons turned on. I've got quite the advantage when fighting. I have no idea what that thing's meant to be. I'm assuming that's the boss. I don't know what its name's meant to be signifying. But before that, we're going to go do the man beast. Cur oh. Dodges! Freaking sequa dodges. I, I despise them. They are... I don't think Sequest dodges are really that handy, like, it's cool he put the animation in for them, but by doing that he made the dodges worthless, because now it takes a few seconds, or it takes like a second for you actually to initiate the dodge, like, because you have to get into, like, the pose to d jump sideways, which is a downside. It used to just be instant dodges, which are the whole point of dodges, being instant. Anyway, so, I have to give the Wolf God 30 mutton, so we're going to do that right now. Can I, like, just throw it down here? Strengthen your claws, render the flesh, or third of the weakest beat. Um, place their mutton before me. It's before you, you maniac! Maybe I have to be a- maybe, Okay, but maybe I have to go into my dog form for this to work. Maybe I have to go wolfy. Hold on. Let's just shove all this stuff away. Um, don't mind all that. That, that I've got to go get gas tears. So I'm going to be going to the, the twilight to do stuff for that. But that'll be a different time. Like Today, no, we've got other stuff to do. Alright, let's go wolf form. There we go. Right. Can you just accept this mutton, damn it? It's before you. What what are you complaining about? Like, that's the only mutton in the game. Yeah, because if I type in Mutton. There's that and there's cooked mutton. There's mutton jerky, but that's it. It can't be cooked he wants. It's on top of your head, you madman! Or maybe it has to be a, a I don't know, I'll look into this later. Alright, we're ignoring that for now. Back to human form. Boop. There we go. Alright, let's get the armor back on. Also, I figured out why my cape does the thing it does. So, realize if I take my hill off, that's when my cape hill, um, hood goes up. I never realized that till now, so that's nothing. Right, anyway, let's clear out this slot. Since this is a thing now. Um, so, my house comes first, obviously. Let's get rid of the Katsuki here. Oi! Sword him to death. Freaking attack members. Get out of here. They are not that strong. My house's hole has been filled in. I actually scratched that. Ho half my house is gone. <laughs> the fuck? Zaro says he'll fix it. Zaro says everything will be fixed. Zaro says everything will go back to the way it was. Just keep telling yourself that. Doesn't, I'm going to be very, very annoyed. <laughs> Alright, nothing's down here. Alright, we just got up here to deal with then. So, alright, this is where the guardians came from. Hello? Alright, can I help you? Oh, you give weathering effect to you, that's very nice of you. Um, you don't stand a chance though, just saying. Yeah, you're dead. Um, hold on a minute, actually, I actually want to do something quickly. Where's my, where's my ender chest? Of course, the ender chest here is gone. It will get destroyed. Down below. I saw something on the top of these things. I want to try something. Um, spirit canister. Here we are. Had these for a while. I know what they do as well. They're actually for collecting the fires from the Zelda mod. I believe there's a red fire up there. Or several red fires. So we're going to actually take one. Just to try. I mean, obviously I could get the other fires. I think there's, there's three different colors. So... Didn't seem to do anything my... But it didn't. Alright, fine. Screw you then. <laughs> Why does this thing not accept me? <laughs> what are these things saying? Alright, the big boss isn't chasing me yet. We'll just... That, just die. One hit. Two hits. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for these guys. Like, on my home tarp, I am an absolute... Anyone's an absolute beast. Oi. Like, seriously, with a few sword swings, they are absolutely wrecked. 
But yeah, Jesus Christ. This explains what Zaro's been up to the last few days. He was on the server while I was away doing fairy tale stuff, which I don't regret. I needed to get stuff done in fairy tale to like get started in things. All right, let's fight against this thing. A thousand health. That. Let's. How strong are you though? How, how strong are you? How, how, you know, what are you called actually? What the hell is your name? I feel really bad for this guy. Oh my god, the electric sparks everywhere. The fuck? Oh, hello. Oh, I've got slowness and weakness. That did not stop me. The sword of the Zephyr, alright. I mean, that gives me a myth of flight, if I ever want to. Um, sure, why not? Um, avoid Thumbnomicon Hood and stuff. At Cal's mission by Zara. Zara! <laughs> I suppose they had to sign the book, didn't they, by himself? Oh well. I mean, we know Zarmal's a bad guy anyway. Is it that? Hold on. My weakness is gone. No, it's not. It's meant to be gone. Is it going up here? Yeah, going up here gives me weakness. The hell? What is that block? What are these? Factory block. They're just factory blocks. What's this thing? I mean, look at the kill looking. For evil purposes. What is this aura that's pulsating at this? Why am I getting... Why am I having a really hard time... Is this soul sand? No, it's not a factory block. It's rusty though, and with the rust I can't run on it. Alright. That's a thing. Oh yeah, so this invasion did not last nearly as long as the last one. Mostly because it wasn't like an insane number of people like last time. Uh... I don't know if this was meant to happen, but when he's redone my farm, he's actually filled in a lot of the gaps that I never had filled in. <laughs> he's actually done my farm over nicely for me. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> oh, my stuff's still in. This is so weird. I'm looking at the village in a completely different light later. Alright, let's look at this Ad Cal's mission. Important mission! That, that That's definitely the way you start off all missions. Ad Cal, you have to... Infiltrate the Shadow Village and start preparations for one of the important factors in taking over the world, which is to try taking over the main source of power itself, the Shadow Village. You're the hold off the forces of the Shadow Village. Uh, you're the ho hold off the forces of the sh forces of the Shadow Village forces and their allies until Fuller backup appears. Uh, I believe with your power, you can do great damage to them. But do, also, um, but do also remember not to underestimate our opponent, as they have been most capable to take down our forces in the past. Now go, complete your mission, and whatever you do, do not fail me, Zarmaro Katsuki leader. Wow. <laughs> Zara needs to say that saying he's the Katsuki leader. He's, he's one of those types of leaders that has to just, just have to throw the power around. Just like show off that, oh yeah, I'm the leader, look at me. Look at the leader. My fucking sacred trees, I don't believe that bastard. I'll have his head for this. Replacing my sacra trees with bloody blood trees. Screw him. Also, it's now night time. Let's give a go with the mutton again. Let's see if this is a thing I can do. If not, I'll need to look up. Hello, cat scrambles. Hello. Oh, I might... I'm too far away for strength to the kick in. Or... Or is my... Oi. Stop jumping over the fence, you son of a bitch. I'm very confused there. Am I not getting my strength bonus? I am. It's just weakness 2 is permanently in effect right now. That's annoying. Right. Boop. Oh. Go over. There we are. Right. Mutton time. Just accept the mutton, you piece of crap. Here, take it. Take it all. <laughs> I need to look this up. I mean, I, I was so certain that that would just work, but never mind. Alright, um... I've got the mutton! I'm giving it to you! Jesus Christ. Here, accept the mutton. I don't want to eat it. Just take it! Take it all! I hate this guy. Wolf God's a troll. Alright, I'll need to look into how this actually gets done then, because 
I mean, I assume this is the right mutton. It's the only mutton I could find in the game unless it is cooked. But I don't want to risk cooking it in case... You know, I'm going to quickly look it up right now because I want to get, move on to the next stage of the wolf stuff. I want to get into the higher stuff of the wolf. So hold on. Okay then. So I've turned wolf form. And I've killed a sheep. I've been given this raw lamb chop. So I'm going to assume that I'm going to be collecting 30 of these. Which is very believable. Unfortunately though, the freaking wolf god decided to say the word mutton. And because he said that, I thought it was mutton I was after. There was only one mutton in the game, so I thought this must be the mutton. <laughs> I didn't even think. I'm pretty sure there was even comments telling me I probably should have killed it in wolf form, but never mind. We're just gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna kill so many sheep. Like, oh, I'm not in a great mood right now. This is terrible. Freaking terrible. Also, no, I don't. I don't need them falling to their death. I need to kill them with my bare claws. Come on. So yeah, I need, apparently I need to go and kill all the sheep again. That's going to be a thing. Alright, yeah, I got another one there. So I don't know if I can, like, as a wolf, I can't really use a sword and stuff. That's not really a thing, because when I tried using Kuni Bear Bocho, my damage was only true, so it's pretty pointless. Um, did I see a sheep again there? No, I did not. Uh, but yes, that means I've uh, got to do this all over again. <laughs> uh, why didn't they just say, get, bring their chops? Or why did they say their mutton? Why did they have to say the word mutton? Freaking wolf god troll. Uh. Yeah, anyway. So, once again, the cats get invaded. Once again, they've been vanquished. The newer lot was, since they actually seemed that bad. Especially since I had strength 2 and regeneration the entire time. Plus, my armor's pretty good. Not as a wolf, though. Wolf, I don't get armor. I need to get my wolf man for that. Hence why I'm wanting to kill all the sheep. But, yeah. So, I'm guessing Zoro's trying to make a story of this. I, I just, I never understand Zoro. Like, his whole plan of action and things. Because he... I don't know, he just doesn't seem to follow any kind of logic when he does stuff. He just kind of does stuff thinking it's cool. I don't know. I just have to wait and see what he does in the end. Because, like, is, with the running gun, I thought he'd be using more of his powers to, like, make it running gun related to having, like, another five paths of himself with weird powers or, like, or his way, any way he can make them anyway. Or, like, surrounding my entire village and freaking dart and stone and stuff because he's done, like, that technique that, like... The ceiling technique, like, cr like crushes the whole village in a ball. Or crushes the whatever in a ball. It can be anything. Or, you know, use his ability to, like, lift the village into the sky or something. Because I'm pretty sure he can do that. But, you know, never, never mind. <laughs> I could never tell with Zara what he's got planned. Like, he's not much of a, he's not much of a story writer. As I've said this to him. I'll have to just wait and see what he does, though. Maybe he can redeem himself. We shall see. Anyway, um, I'm quite enjoying this wolf form run around because I love having lots of speed. I also love the fact I can fit underneath one block high spaces. It makes life so much easier. It's a shame I just can't wear my armor, though. <laughs> That's the only downside, but I suppose there's always got to be a downside, doesn't there? But anyway, so I may just abandon um, looking for the sheep today because, let's face it, it'll take me forever to find this many sheep, and I'm probably better going to the twilight and adventuring through there for it because... Running around these biomes, I'm finding lots of chickens and lots of pigs, but I'm not finding much in the way of sheep. Just sort of a downer, so... Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll just do the sheep off-camera, because it's, it's probably the easiest way. Um, until then, head back to the village then and see what else I can get up to. So, there was one other thing I wanted to do today. Oh, there was one thing, there was a few things I wanted to do, but there was one thing I'm going to try and do. Oh god, this is where it brings me now, is it? Jesus. Alright. Can I do this in wolf form? I probably could, but I'm not going to. Let's get out of wolf form. Because it's going to be a pain if I don't. Back we go. There we go. Much better. Get some space in my inventory now. Alright, so this mutton is completely useless. Like the other mutton. So I'll just shove that away. Can I get an ender pearl? Ender pearl shard. Alright. I don't know when I picked that up. Okay. Um, I don't need empty maps. I might kill a witch and running around. So I probably got that off heart. Now, um, there was a sigil for blood magic I wanted to make. One, I, th I think I know what it is, but I'm not 100% sure. So, we're going to give this a go. So, it's called the Sigil of the Phantom Bridge, which I thought sounded and looked... Oh, I don't, I've not really seen what it looks like. I think I know what it looks like. I think I know what it does, but I'm not 100% sure. We shall find out. So, what do I need? I need one imbued slate, two soul sand, five stone, and my orb thingy, which I have here. Also, frames. Frames. 
Do you want to fix yourself there? want to stop having your little wibble? Um, it's stone. That's not stone. There we are. And I'm pretty sure Zaro got tons of soul sand because he went and gathered it for... I'm fighting the weather there episode, so I'm pretty sure it's still floating around here. I need to put a piece of stone in the thing here. Get the imbued... Or the, the more powerful slate that made, uh, made. I feel so slow now that I'm back in human form. Like, in, in real form, I was running around like... Just like there's no tomorrow, but no. Human form, I feel so slow. Probably should put speed on my... No, actually, I like having shred too. When the invaders come. No, we'll stick with the strength too. I was going to say I might switch to speed too while I'm in the village, but never mind. It's a silly idea. Um, I know we had soul sand. What the hell did I do with it? I have a wolf trophy. Um, Zaro got tons of it. It's just a matter of where did I put it. Also, there's all the will I got from killing all the mutt uh, all the sheep for the mutton. Um, off camera. Sadly, we'll never get used. Um, the mutton... I doubt I'll ever use the mutton, we'll see. I don't bloody believe that. I spent all that time bloody getting the wrong mutton. <laughs> it's the wrong mutton. I even I saw comments about people saying you have to kill them in wolf form, but because I killed a couple and got the mutton, I thought, nah, it must it must be like it works either way. I was a fool. <laughs> I should have guessed as a wolf quest you had to stay in wolf form for the work. Made the most sense. Right. Let's see. Do I have any soul sand in any of these? God, I must have it in one of these. There we go. Soul sand. Exactly what I need. Let's make this phantom bridge. I want to try it out and see how good it is. -na 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 -na. I wonder why I can't click that fire up there. Like, the red fire I should be able to click the spirit canister, but I can't. Because that's the Zelda thing. Like, I think that one causes explosions or something. Um, Where am I going? It's, supposed to be, it's over here I'm meant to be going. Head over here. And soul sand. Also, I'm just going to leave it down here. In one of these chests. Right, are you the correct slate? I believe you are. Beautiful. Alright, let's make this phantom bridge. I think I know what this is. If I know what it is, this will be quite cool, I think. Let's head out and we'll, we'll see what it does. Air said, Jill, do your thing. Alright. Phantom bridge. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> Alright, well, it does stop me from hitting the ground, at least. Can I... Can I not go up with it? Is that not a thing? Alright, alright. Alright, I press on and it activates. So then let's get the... Division sigil. I've got 14,336. Activate Phantom Bridge. Right. I think it's like a hundred every ten seconds. Just sort of the standard. Plus this thing fades away in its own, so I'd have to worry about it. Alright, I can't leap though, that's a downside. Damn it. It seems to be when I walk off an edge it'll activate if there's nothing there. So here? Yeah, here. I can go down yeah, if I press shift it lets me go down a, a peg. Down a bit. Can I like Oh, okay, if I shift and hold, um... Right, if I shift and double jump, that works. That works, and I can just, like, run along here. I can't leap, but I can run. This is this is technically, like, a form of... <laughs> what am I even going to call this? What is this power? <laughs> what is this bloody power? I don't even know, but it's, it's bloody cool, whatever it is. I think Zoro had his eye on one of these as well, because I think he heard what it did. Now... I'm fairly certain the Phantom Bridge, it goes between blocks and stuff, and... Oh god. I'm pretty sure if I collect blocks... Oi! Alright, it, it just suffocated to death. I'm pretty sure I can replace bits of it. Yeah, I can. I can replace bits of it with, like, stuff. So this is a way of building in the air if I want. This technically counts as something, and it just, like, fades in. It's pretty cool. I like this. Alright, Phantom Bridge. That's going to be a handy one later on. I have no idea what to call that though, like that seems more like a shadow jutsu if you're going to ask me anything, or some kind of gas jutsu, I don't know. Oh, uh, I, I have no idea what what ability that really took. So far, I've been using light lasers, like my Geki Genkai has been light lasers so far. I, how am I going to explain a shadow ability as well? My Geki Genkai is just light and darkness. 
It's just, is it, it's, a, it's an Eclipse um, Geki Genkai. Controls light and dark. Sure. <laughs> Let's go with that. Why not? Um, right then. Well, since I now have a load of mutton to go collect, and... I mean, there are more sigils I could build, but none that interesting. Hold on a minute. Can you... Respawn. There we go. That's my bloody... My sodding internet... Um, my internet protection thing. Every 24 hours it's been coming up saying, Oh, do you want to update? Do you want to restart your computer? No, I know I don't. Just, no, sod off. <laughs> Alright, but anyway. Um, I've got a bunch more stuff to do that doesn't really need to be done on camera. Like, I need to go collect the mutton. I do need to go and get um, gas tiers. That's a big thing I do need for blood magic, which is kind of why I'm not pushing forward blood magic, because I need gas tiers to kind of do a lot more things. So... I'll be focused on getting more of them, which I think I've got a plan for them. We'll see. Um, and as for witchery, well, I need to research circle magic a bit more, because that's something I need to get into, because I need to do rites, apparently, and, like, summon things and things. That'll be fun. I also need Zara to change back my village to the way it was before, because as nice as this looks, I miss my sacra trees, and I can't really build much with that in the way, so <laughs> I'm sure that'll switch in. Anyway, at least he never did the sign of the day building. Which is a good thing, so it means we can continue doing the sign of the day. So, quick reminder, the question of the day is, um, in a battle between Naruto and the One Punch Man worlds, what's a fight you'd like to see? That doesn't have to be just Satama versus Naruto stuff, it could be like anyone from the One Punch Man worlds, Genos, um, Sonic, anyone, anyone, take your pick. Let's hear it down below, let's be creative. And I'll pick some out for hopefully next time, assuming there's a gap between um, me recording this and it going up and stuff, we'll see. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching. I will see you all next time for Monarotarashi. Goodbye, everybody.